Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. Today I have such a, an array of things to show you. And I'm going to start with this one because I want to go ahead and put it back. I had John unplug it so I could show it to you today. This is probably my favorite purchase of the week. My mom has a lamp that is somewhat like this. I think she bought it at like a, it's like a local resale antique type store that we have here that's real popular. It's been here all my life. And it really brightened up her room. So when I saw this one on Amazon, I was like, oh my gosh, I couldn't believe I found it. It comes in this size and one that's a little bit smaller, but look at how pretty this is. I got it, I was thinking about it for right beside John's chair and I didn't like it there. It's too big and I just didn't like it there. It kind of didn't show, but then I ended up putting it um, over in this corner and I got rid of that dark little lamp that was like a crown, actually. I was gonna get rid of it and John pulled it out of the box and said that he may want it one day for his study or something, so anyway. All of my family, they have the hardest time getting rid of things. So they always go through my giveaway box. Anyway, I just wanted to show this to you. I just thought it was so pretty and it just makes me happy every time I look at it. Let's go over just a few favorites of the week. Just things I wanted to check back with you on. This has been a favorite and upstairs I have like a box of Monate because I sell it and use it. And I was going through it and giving some things away and I came across this, which was like if you sign up as a VIP, gosh, I'm rusty with all the rules, but you get the only for you free products when your order comes in. And this one is the Curl Refresher Spray. I have used the heck out of this stuff because sometimes my hair will, it, it would be fine if like both sides were straight but one side will be curlier than the other or the underneath will be real curly and then the top has a straight section and I've been using this and loving it. So I'm mostly telling you if you already, you may have this in your stash if, if you're one of my Monate girls. And um, I did get my roots done yesterday, no highlights or anything. And she, I told her, I said, you know, I had planned on getting just a blowout just for something different, but I've heard from multiple people that the more you let your hair air dry, the more your curl pattern comes back in your hair. And my hair has just, today's not a good day, but my hair has just gotten so just curly again. So I didn't want to mess that up. So I asked Morgan if she would just do what she would do if, you know, she were letting, just do what she should do to let my hair air dry and look good or whatever. So she used this product and I took a picture of it. I'll put it right in here. I, I took a picture in case I liked it. Well, I don't like it. Oh my gosh. My hair was in a million little separate strings. It was weird. So I don't like putting anything like that in there. I really just like using the Colleen shampoo her mask and the oil or my Kerastase oil or once a week I use my Monate Renew shampoo and that is just all I like right now. So anyway I had to put it up and I used my refresher spray just for just to help my sides curl a little bit. Okay so I wanted to tell you about that. Then more about Colleen. I hope you watched my video. There are so many good things that I got that I opened in that video and I gave some hair tips or whatever, but this is the Balancing Gel Cleanser. I threw away the cap because it was one of those you had to wrestle with and I just know I like to grab something, use it and put it back. I love this. It is not stripping at all. It smells so good. I usually use two or three pumps and do like this and it's just so, the fragrance is just amazing. It cleans and then it rinses off real easy. It's not one of those, like my CeraVe gel I was using was so thick, it was almost hard to emulsify, to like spread on my face. And this is just awesome. I love it, just want to, re to report back. I love the eye cream. I'm using the Retinol Eye Serum at night and I'll let you know about that later, but the eye cream in the morning, I love it. It's so soothing and 
moisturizing. And then this, when I opened this up, it's crying on my bed. Let me go get her. Hold on. Where was I? What was I talking about? Okay. Oh, this. Okay. The beauty sponge from Colleen. When I opened it that day, I thought, oh, I hope this isn't going to be too, I don't like them if they're like too hard. Love it. Love it. It's like the perfect amount of squishiness. And I have been using this side. If you're somebody who likes to bounce, 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 bounce all over, you may not like it as much as like a regular beauty blender, but it's great for those of us that like to kind of spread and bounce at the same time and just bring it down your neck. I've been really loving my Estee Lauder Double Wear in Shell Beige lately. And uh, so that's what I use it with. And then, as you can see, I turn it around here and dip it in my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I dip it and then kind of bounce it off on my hand. And then I go up under my eyes and love it, love it. Okay, Christina. Christina from Lime Life, she was my rep. She sent me one of these. And this is the Lime Life by Alcone Clean Act Young Coconut Milk Brush and Sponge Cleanser. Okay, this thing is so much better than the Beauty Blender bar because it stays in here. It doesn't come out. So you just wet it, do your brushes, you know, rinse them off, put them up, and then rinse this off. It's just so convenient and clean and doesn't smell, doesn't make your brushes smell, gets them so clean. And then I usually just leave it out on the counter or turn it upside down and then put the cap on and put it back up. So I will leave her link down below. This is, I'm not even sure how much it is, but it's vegan coconut, purified water, natural coconut oil, palm oil, sea salt. Gosh, it's all natural. Tea tree essential oil sustainably sourced. So it's nothing in here that's going to, you know, like dry out your brushes or ruin those, which I like because I've still been loving the Wayne Goss, those fancy brushes that I got. They are amazing. Another little package that I got this week, matter of fact, in one of my videos, I can't remember which one it was. It might have been the Colleen. It was either the Colleen or the Vera Shop video. You guys liked my lip combo. And I told you I was going to show you today. Well, I got it from Freeze Co. Beauty. And she does not have those in stock because of the way everything is. So I'm going to hold off and we'll look at those next week. I figured there's no sense in me showing you if you can't get it. But she did send me these and I have been loving this one. I'm wearing it today. It is the Fit Glow Beauty Lipstick in Beach. And let's see. Yeah, it comes like that. And it is a nudie color. I've got it on with Lancome Ideal. It just slides on and it has like that shimmer to it. But it does, I don't think it makes my lips look dry at all. And I don't have to wear lip gloss with it because it's not too dry or matte looking. So then that helps with the whole mask ordeal, not getting your lipstick and stuff on your mask. So I've been loving that. I wore it yesterday, it was the first time I tried it. And then she also sent Buff. She knows I like the nudes. So let's, I haven't even swatched Buff. Ooh, Buff is pretty too. Buff is not shimmery. Let's see. Okay, Buff is beautiful. Let's put, maybe it's got a little bit more color. Wow, beautiful. So I think you would love both of these. The girl that owns this website is amazing. I love supporting people that are probably having a hard time right now. It, it just breaks my heart, all the people that are going out of business, even big companies. So I like to support people like this. Another Amazon purchase is my good, good old faithful candle that I have ordered. I don't know how many of these I've ordered, but I had a fresh one and um, I just had it sitting upstairs because I've gotten so many other candles lately, like from House of Siage, and I had some other ones that I wanted to burn. Well, when we were selling our house, I thought, oh gosh, I just love it when my house smells like this. So I unwrapped it and I lit it and just fell back in love with the way this smells. It is the best smell for your house. It's not a foodie smell. It's not a perfumey smell. If I had to say anything, 
it's kind of like a spa type smell but just in the best way and it does not bother John's sinuses at all it's a soy candle and it burns forever and I don't it doesn't take a long time to really just make your whole house smell like this so I wanted another one I want one upstairs and I want one downstairs so I ordered another one Let's see I did order uh, these I actually ordered these bras with the other lively bras I think I ordered them the same day but just like two different transactions and these were a little bit later but I haven't tried these yet I just got them this week of course and oh my goodness they're beautiful beautiful so I wanted to try these for us I should have put it on today I'm wearing the strapless one today and so far so good it does show a little bit right there but I thought that might be good because I have some errands to run today I need to go to Walmart and do some other stuff like that so I so far matter of fact I cannot even tell that I'm wearing a strapless bra at all I mean it's got the, a little bit of sticky stuff on it I left those little cup pads in there and I do I recommend you always stepping into a bando strapless bra that way you pull them up and don't pull your boobs down and you just get a better shape and so far so good but this would have looked good i bought the bundle of the nude one and the black one and um i also have something interesting here you know i don't know if i told you i bought the busty ones for my mom but i actually got ac accidentally got her the small so I'm going to try them. So let's compare the regular to the busty. So here's my regular one from last week, still sitting here. And here is the busty version. She needed a medium. I don't know how that happened. Sometimes that just happens. Okay. So that's, I think I can wear this small now. So size one, and this is the busty version. And then this is size medium. Hmm, I wonder why it's like that. But let me, okay, right off the bat, the busty version has a stronger band. It doesn't have this band. So that is a difference right there. And I can see that helping because then it won't roll. And then, like, it's just bigger all the way around. I would say it is, let me hold it straight here. It's like that much bigger. Like, I would say almost an inch bigger so I can see how that would help. But I'm going to keep these and wear them. And um, so we'll see. But this... I can see how it would really, really help, and it's still soft and very boingy. <laughs> and then I'll let you know about these two, but I know I'm going to like them, and John's going to really like them. I'm going to have to be prepared when I wear those for sure. You guys know how much I love this sunglass company, Privé Revo. I would have never probably known about them had not. One year we went to Reward Style, the conference, and they gave us glasses. And from then on, I was hooked. One of my favorite favorite pair are the Victoria. They're that Celine look that's more angular. And then I saw they, of course I'm on their email now because I order from them and they have Olivia Colpo collection and they had these. So I ordered two colors of these and I just think that they're beautiful. They're just the classic cat eye. Aren't they gorgeous? you guys i just love them and they are polarized they are i mean i hate to talk bad about the key sunglasses because i do like the solid black um aviators that i got from there one time they ended up breaking because i think someone sat on them in the back seat but it was my fault but there's really no comparison these don't rattle they don't feel cheap. I would never know this isn't a really nice pair of sunglasses. You know, and I don't mean it like that. I, I would never know they're not designer. And then I got this color. They came in, it, this style comes in four different colors. And I just thought this was so cool. 
and just a little retro and just something different. And I got a little package from Miranda Fry and trying to take out this one, but I'm wearing one of them. I picked out two anklets and this is the other one. And I love them. I love how simple they are. They're perfect. They fit. You have a little bit of, you know, like an extender chain. It drapes a little bit on the inside of my foot, but hits right above my ankle bone on the outside. And um, so I'm wearing one, and then she, they also sent me this one, which I'm very thankful for. And then this bracelet I chose also. I can't remember the name of these, but I will link them below, and I thought this was amazing. Now, the bracelet I was wearing over here was that old Monet bracelet that I found from when I was a teenager. I think like a boy in high school gave it to me, or maybe even junior high. I'm not even sure. It did start the edges where the gold was coming off, but that's fine because I got, it was something I had forgotten about, and I got a lot of use out of it, and it was worth it. But um, the only thing I don't like is I'm not crazy about this. I know like that may be her signature, but I will probably get John to um, probably remove this for me. But it's nice to know that you have it in case you want to wear it bigger or if your wrist is a little bit bigger or something like that. But I love it. I love the chunkiness of it and it's just different. Um, I get a lot of questions about these. These are from HRH collection. I never take them off kind of like the Miranda Fry, they are not real gold, they are gold plated, and when they start looking bad, I will take them off and either get a real gold set or get another one of these, it just depends. I might not, you know, I might be tired of wearing these by that time, and then I'll go ahead, this is a real gold necklace from my teenage years that my mom found in my old room, and then this is the U necklace, I'll put the link below. I always wear it. It is also real gold. And then um, this is that lifetime necklace. This is a real experiment. It's from Amazon and it's guaranteed not to turn. So I've been wearing it, have not taken it off, and it still looks amazing. And I just wear all of these, even in the shower, to the beach, wherever. The last thing I want to show you guys is really special. When I got this box, matter of fact, I tried to take a nap yesterday. Ever since I've been eating differently, I don't take naps. But yesterday I got home and I thought, I'm gonna try to take a nap today so I can stay up later because I've just been zonking out by like 10 o'clock at the latest. And, um, so I tried to take a nap, I heard the doorbell ring, and I heard John signing for a package, and it was from House of Siage. And so I came out here later, opened it, and it says, Dear Lisa, are you ready to become your own superheroine? We are excited to share with you our Wonder Woman 1984 collection by House of Siage. In partnership with Warner Brothers Studios, this theatrical limited edition collection includes a brand new parfum bow lipstick case available July 24th, on House of Siage, and I was like, what? And then when I opened it up, look at the packaging. And John said, I was showing him, and he said, yeah, I think there was supposed to be a movie that was coming out. And so I don't know, I'm sure they probably are not releasing it now. I don't know if they're doing that thing where they release it so that we can rent it, but I would be, I would love to watch that. So 1984, I was 14, and I can remember we would spend like one weekend with one set of grandparents, the other weekend with the other set of grandparents. In the summertime, it was usually my dad's parents at the beach, but my other, my mom's parents, um, they watched Wonder Woman and my granddaddy had a crush on Wonder Woman. And uh, so I always think of him when I see Wonder Woman and uh, the packaging is just gorgeous. So I was wondering, okay, the fragrance, uh, this charismatically sultry, sumptuous, and bold fragrance empowers you with a fearless flair to pursue, pursue your authentic destiny. The alluring vanilla scent instantly engulfs you in an aura of sensual glamour. Ignited, started, okay, I'm not going to go through the rest of this stuff. And then there's a limited edition lipstick case too. So, look at this. That is the most gorgeous bottle. It is just, I hope you can see it. Let me... It's just beautiful. Okay, there it goes. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, vanilla. I had to make sure I really liked it first. And like I was saying, this lipstick lasts all day. If you have trouble with fragrances lasting all day, this is their fragrances last all day. I get so many compliments all day. Beautiful. It's, um, I'm gonna have a hard time. It's not boyfriend. It's real mellow and smooth. It's not fruity. Let me see. Let me see what other notes they said. It says, while igniting a surge of euphoric adrenaline and resilience like Wonder Woman, setting your soul on fire and conquering any obstacle in your path. Well, I could use that today. I don't know. I'll have to put the link below and get the notes for you, but a definite vanilla. Mm. Okay, there's something, something familiar in there. I can't, I can't put my finger on it. So if you are nostalgic for stuff like this, you will love this. And I'm gonna keep the box and everything, WW84. And then let's look at the, and of course it's the red lipstick, the collector's edition box. And let's, let's look at this bow case. Even the inside, just beautiful. I mean, they could not have done a better job at making Wonder Woman look so classy and beautiful. Love it. Just a great job. I'm going to stand up and do an outfit of the day. This is the first time I've ever worn this top. I bought it from Amazon and it's from one of the collections. And I think Lucy Wims is the influencer that created this collection. And um, I love it. You'll see when I stand up, it's kind of short or like kind of cropped and um, so I'll be right back. So here is the top and I just love the length of it. So it's kind of cropped but not really and then these jeans are Citizens of Humanity. I got them at Oliver and I have a great discount code 20%. You cannot beat it off the whole website including the necklace and they're, I can't remember what they're called right now but they're the straight and then these shoes, you guys right, might remember, they're Topshop, and they're just kind of like the Bottega-esque mules, and so just a really simple outfit, but something I haven't been able to wear for a long time. And I've had so many of you ask me about weight loss, and I, am I going to do a video? I am. I'm just kind of getting my ducks in a row, and I think I've got everything I need I wanted to, um, anyway, I will do that next week and I'll tell you exactly what I'm eating and I want to go into the whole IBS thing that I have to deal with and so eating slash IBS slash menopause and what I'm doing different than any other time I've ever lost weight. This is the best, best weight loss I have ever had. I have just felt so good and I can't wait to share everything with you. And I also did a video on my sofa, my new Utopia sofa, and I've got it all ready to go, so I'm gonna post that this weekend. So thank you guys so much for being here. Um, so I'll see you then, bye-bye.